Hello and welcome to another Englishman in San Diego. It's Saturday the 3rd of May. It's 82 days to go to San Diego Comic Con. And I for one can't wait till Tuesday because that's when I get paid. And finally, I can start organizing myself because I haven't had the funds to uh, really get myself sorted for this year's con. Indeed, uh, I am going to be doing a post uh, in the next week or so about doing the con on a very serious budget. There's a number of uh, Brits that's part of the UK group that um, won't be able to make it this year purely because of funds. Um, It's an addiction that you want to go back, but at the end of the day, you can't afford. It's just one of those things that can be a very expensive process and uh, very expensive thing to do. So they're kind of uh, living vicariously through the rest of us, which is understandable, and saying that they want to go back in 2015. This year, while the last couple of years very much have been on a budget, this year is going to be very, very tight indeed. Um, So like I say, I'm finally getting paid on Tuesday and um, I'm going to be getting my flight sorted out and all the uh, the bits and pieces to actually get out there. And then it's a case of uh, raising some spending money. Um, It's comic book day, or it's free comic book day, so hopefully you're not actually doing what I'm doing, which is out at the moment enjoying the uh, sunshine on a very, very nice Saturday. But hopefully you're in a comic book shop at this point, getting your free comic books and checking out what's happening uh, in the world of your local retailer. Um, What else? Um, This is going to be one of two uh, vlogs, I think, because it's a nice uh, weekend, and I think I'll do one tomorrow. Um, It'll also make up for the fact that I won't be doing my hangout uh, tomorrow. I do a a weekly hangout called um, A Cup of Tea with an Englishman in San Diego on a Sunday. However, being a bank holiday Sunday and being a DJ, a last minute gig has come in, which means I'm working, unfortunately, so I won't be able to do it. But uh, I have postponed it till the Monday. I think it's going to be a pretty interesting episode, actually, because uh, we're also going to be covering the interview which I did with uh, John Jersette, who is the Chief Information Officer for Ace Parking, which... uh, It's a great chat, actually. It is available on the uh, Englishman in San Diego YouTube channel if you want to check that out. Um, But yes, it's definitely going to be a bit of a delayed one, unfortunately. I'm going to have to make this really quick, actually. I mean, I'm talking three minutes talking at this point, and being an iPhone 5, this is probably going to flatten the battery something chronic. Uh, What I would suggest is uh, if you do want to subscribe or if you want to be a patron of an Englishman in San Diego, then I can afford a GoPro and at least get some decent video and it won't die on me halfway through. Because uh, the battery on a year and a half iPhone 5, while a great camera, crap battery, crap battery. So, um, what can we talk about this week? One thing I do want to talk about is something that I'm going to be covering more in the hangout on uh, Monday as well, which is um, Bashi prompted the changes in the CBR uh, comic book resources forum, which is uh, rather disturbing the attitudes that have been uh, portrayed and uh, put towards some um, of the female uh, members, uh, comic book fans. It's just something that I found rather offensive and rather um, disturbing that um, has had to happen on the back of um, some very vocal uh, minorities. Um, It's something that I, because obviously living in England, the liberal utopia, (laughs) right, um, obviously you'd like to think in 2014 we've kind of moved on from such attitudes. Thankfully there are some fantastic creators out there fighting the good fight and indeed some great commentators as well but it's something that um, I feel disappointed that uh, CBR has had to do uh, make these changes to their forums Um, something I'm going to do a little bit more research over the next day or so because I want to be a little bit more informed about the uh, the attitudes because it's got to be said when I'm walking around um, Comic-Con and I see Uh, some cosplayers, female cosplayers um, in some very revealing dress. I do kind of wonder, number one, why they're doing it. Number two, 
it looks rather good when someone with a figure can pull off a really good Zatanna, for example. But then you get some which just cross the line and make it uncomfortable and really drag it down for the rest of us, which is really, really unfortunate. So it's something I'm going to have to do some research on, especially uh, this year. Perhaps I have led a little bit too much of a blinkered uh, attitude to Comic-Con and to uh, the attitude towards um, females um, and some minorities as well when it comes to uh, comic book fraternity and Comic-Con. Uh, something I want to talk about on Monday. Right, so this is going to be a two-parter because uh, I am going to talk on uh, tomorrow as well. But um, I just wanted to uh, drop in and uh, say hello. Uh, what else? Um, do check out the uh, review I've posted online for uh, An Amazing Spider-Man 2, which I watched last week. Um, it's a two-star review. I'm not spectacularly positive, but you can find that on the Englishman in San Diego uh, website, uh, englishmaninsandiego.com. Um, what else have I done? Oh, yeah, some other bits and pieces that showed up in the news which are rather entertaining. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be talking about Star Wars, so don't worry. We are going to be covering that because, of course, may the 4th be with you and all that. Uh, but um, a couple of interesting pieces of uh, news, especially for the, the Brits. Uh, Matt Smith, our 11th Doctor. Is it the 11th? 11th Doctor has uh, been recruited into the cause for uh, Terminator Genesis which is going to be the next Terminator film, which I find uh, interesting. I think uh, it's good to see that Matt Smith will use any excuse at all to get out to San Diego and either share a stage with uh, Chris Hardwick at Nerdist or uh, generally go out partying with uh, uh, Karen Gillan in San Diego. So hopefully Matt will be joining us for a little bit of a, a reveal. I can't remember who uh, Terminator Genesis will be covered by. Is that... Uh, I don't know which um, studio that would be. I'll have to do some uh, research on that, find out which panel he could possibly show up on. Right, I've cycled 10 miles out to uh, Pugney's uh, Water Park uh, by Wakefield, or in Wakefield, and now I'm going to uh, have a sip of water and cycle my way back. Um, like I say, it's a glorious day, so hopefully you're not watching this on a computer or a laptop at home. Hopefully you're out and about and enjoying the start of a nice summer and getting yourself nicely acclimatised for uh, San Diego later on this year. Have yourself a great weekend. I'll speak to you tomorrow as we'll be covering Star Wars news uh, for May the 5th. See you soon.